We are so close to the end of the transfer window and there is some transfers still beckoning. So I'm going to talk about my latest and last transfer prediction. So for the last time, Jason, I know you're not even on this clip, but you'll be happy with this. Woo, woo, woo. There you go. Final alarm. Drop the phone. He's off camera. He's doing something you don't want to see. But the alarm is done. Last time for the alarm. So uh, <laughs> it's apparently... It's almost there, nearly the finish line. The footballing world's Ron Weasley will be arriving in Manchester. But what team? I'm not going to tell you. I'm going to end the clip right here. No, I'm only joking. But uh, Manchester City apparently are the team to get his signature, the former Chelsea star. We've seen Manchester United trying to do a little reverse hijack after Pedro was set, uh, moved to Chelsea. They tried to get a little bit of a uh, revenge over their blue rivals, Manchester City. But... According to Fox Sports, according to Goal.com, according to Express, according to The Guardian, Kevin De Bruyne will be heading to Manchester City for a $90 million deal. My God, that is some pocket change there. And apparently Jesus Navas has vowed to keep his place despite Kevin De Bruyne coming in. And I think I speak for everyone when I say, good luck, mate. Um, so, And then the other transfer that might be moving elsewhere, which is still beckoning, John Stones. Everton centre-back, who for me was a standout, in their loss to Manchester City and I tweeted out that when you have a centre-back who's a stand-out in a 2-0 loss in which the, the, the opposing team was comfortable going forward, I think that's a problem right there because John Stone's looking at how well he can perform against the teams like Manchester City and, uh, and as he did towards the end of last season, useful talent. I think he will be heading out. I don't know if it is the best decision but you see the problems with Chelsea. John Terry now being sent off. Cahill not really clicking with Terry. Zuma seems to be playing well. Could that be the new young uh, defensive partnership there at Chelsea. So John Stones is the other transfer signing who potentially might be moving. So sticking with Chelsea, apparently they're still keen on signing Paul Pogba despite having a £54 million bid rejected. Apparently Jose Mourinho has finally got his toys back in the pram after throwing them out about not having enough to spend, I think, with Roman Abramovich. And he's tried to make big bids for John Stones and Pogba cohesively. But we'll see whether that happens. I don't imagine Paul Pogba moving to Chelsea. I don't think... I think in terms of Premier League, he would be the best fit for them. I'm still kind of hoping to see him go to Barcelona just to see how he would fit into that. But uh, I'm not sure. In my bold prediction, I don't see him moving anywhere this season as of yet. But plenty more things going around. Apparently, Arsenal making a bid for Edison Cavani. This, to me, is just buying another Giroud for higher transfer value. Because he's not going to give you the goals that they need at this moment in time. But fair play, if they want to go in and splash the cash on them, I would be excited to see Cavani uh, more closely week in, week out, because I watch the Premier League very closely every week. So uh, I would be interested to see how that would pan out, moving from Arsenal to another London team, Tottenham. So apparently they backed away from Berahino. So, uh, they were going in for, for him to play, seeing as how him and Harry Kane had worked well before. But apparently they're now backing away from him and have decided to be on the verge of singing, signing Song Hung Min from Bayer Leverkusen. I don't know how I said that. I don't know how it sounded. But we'll see how it sounds when I play it back. And I'll either edit it out or leave it in. So uh, he's, got, he's scored 21 times in 62 matches from midfield. So he's not exactly the striker that they were thinking about with Berahino coming in to partner Harry Kane. But he's still a goal-scoring midfielder who could be useful for them. And it pains me to say that that's it. Apparently Southampton making a bid for Virgil van Dijk from Celtic. And after Celtic crash out of the Champions League, I would not be surprised if Celtic star defender moved. To Southampton and then finalising, I can't get away from this, you can't finish the transfer window without talking about Southampton. Victor Wanyama in Maine apparently wanting to leave Manchester United interested in a bid in for either of those players. Wanyama uh, apparently said that he wanted to move out. I'd feel so bad for, for Southampton uh, having lost Klein, having lost Schneiderlin. The damage wasn't as bad as last season, losing Shaw, losing Lovren, losing Lambert, losing Lallana. So you kind of have to feel for them that if they do lose another two players in the last few days of the transfer window, it will be a sore one to take. But after all, what are we here for to get your perspective? Let me know in the comment section below. Out of all those last-minute transfer deadlines, predictions, rumour squashing, which I did there, who do you think is most likely to move? Which teams need to add more players? Is Neymar finally going to move to Manchester United? <laughs> that one still makes me laugh. Anyway. Comment section below, subscribe, follow me on Twitter at Francis underscore Maxwell, at Francis Maxwell TYT on Instagram to see what I'm up to behind the scenes at TYT Sports.